everybody. I wanted to show you how I created the hot hand wobble slash flanger sound I came up with in that last clip that you just saw. It's a variation on my favorite wobble sound out of the Manta pedal with the zero through flanger on the orbital modulator. So first, let me show you how I dialed in my signature hot hand wobble sound. So um, what I do, I like single peak number six. It's like a nice peaked filter. It gives you a lot of, uh, just a lot of articulation in the filter sound. I'll put the depth knob, say, at about 9 o'clock right here. Um, I want to have this controlled by hot hand, so I press the control input button until the hot hand light is illuminated. I have this being used with the hub, so that's why the MIDI light is on. Otherwise, hot hand is where I want it to be. Uh, speed, I just leave at about 12 o'clock. It actually doesn't matter in this case because we're controlling it via the hot hand. And now we'll go through the option select and the option knob controls as well. So starting on frequency, put the frequency at about 10 o'clock here. I'll put the resonance. I like to have that really all the way off. Uh, so all the way to the minimum. Mix, I want it to be a full wet signal, so I put that all the way to the maximum. Volume, this is up to you depending on your bass and amp what uh, sounds evenly blended between when the pedal is off and on. Uh, 12 o'clock is probably a good spot. Drive, I like to have a good address, aggressive drive, so we'll put that about 3 o'clock there. And then type, all your type is indicated by the little tick marks that are around the option wheel, and I put it at type number 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, there we go. And that's the gated fuzz distortion type. So that gives you a nice gated sound, really clips off the end of the signal, puts a noise gate on it, and um, just gives you these cool fuzzy overtones. So that is my hot hand wobble sound. <laughs>so the other half of this sound is the through zero flanger sound that I have in the orbital modulator this is being controlled by the expression pedal which allows me to basically turn the flanging sound or blend in the flanging sound on and off bring it in bring it out over the hot hand wobble sound that I have through the Manta adding some really cool definition and accent to the sound so let me show you how I created that have the effect on I have the zero through flanger selected I'm going to put the depth right here at 4 o'clock. I'm going to have the speed knob set to the full minimum, so it's a nice, slow, slow-moving flanger sound. The timing of this was just kind of what I decided, nice, slow-moving stuff. You can adjust that for what you see fit. I have the expression pedal selected here on the control input, and I have that assigned to a couple functions in the option selector in the mix function the option select let me show you what I had here option select let's start off with the frequency frequency I put at about here right about eight o'clock this uh, you may want to adjust a little bit depending on your bass and amp again um, it's gonna sound different for every setup so this can really dictate how the uh, the frequency reacts how it sounds so put that there feedback I also wanted a really heavy flanging that really swooshing jet and engine kind of noise. So that I had up pretty high. I have that at 4 o'clock. Volume, you can see where you want it to be. I'd say at about 12 o'clock. Whatever is good for your setup. Low retain, I also had that at 12 o'clock too. Tremolo is all the way off. I don't want any tremolo. And mix, this is what I have now assigned to the expression pedal. So what's cool about the mix is I have a, po I have a negative side and I have a positive side. And what I wanted to do is have this bring into the positive side so that the, um, the signal always starts in the same direction. To be able to assign the expression pedal, now that I have it selected, I press and hold till the light starts to blink. And now I'm going to set the minimum and maximum position. So the minimum I wanted was right here at 12 o'clock. That's really just a clean signal. There's no effect when you have this knob set to there. Set the minimum level, press the button again, the light starts to blink fast. Now I want the maximum level, and that I had up, I think it was about here. There we go. One more time in the control input, it blinks and turns solid. Now the expression pedal is assigned. So as I move the expression pedal back and forth, it's like I'm moving the knob from here to here, back and forth. So I have clean signal, 
full-on flanger signal and I can blend that in as I choose. <laughs> Alright, so now that I have both pedals dialed in and all the controls controlling what I want to have, press and hold the save button on the SoundBlox hub to save my preset, and I'm ready to go. So now they're all saved to preset 100, so when I dial in preset 100 with one button push, pedals turn on. <laughs> Wow, 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 wow,